Hello everybody, my name is Suyash. You're watching Mind Body Spirit. Today I want to try to answer a question that I personally had when I was a beginner with the law of attraction and I've also been getting this question since I started making videos on this channel. Uh, I will just uh, you know explain to you my answer about this question and in the end I will just uh, mention something different but also something very important. So just for this video, I would request you to please watch this till the very end, just so that uh, the information that you take out of this video is not left incomplete. Uh, the question is that when I'm applying the law of attraction uh, and I'm doing everything that I'm required to do while I'm applying the law of attraction, so I'm writing and I'm visualizing and I'm being grateful and all of that. Several videos are already there on my channel about all of these techniques and processes. So I'm doing all of that now, when I'm not doing that, so for example, I got up in the morning, I just thought about everything that I'm grateful for and I also visualized for a while and then I finally get ready for work and then I leave my home and go to my work. Now, when I'm working and when I'm doing other things that I normally do in my life, uh, from a law of attraction point of view, is it better to try to keep remaining in that state that it has already happened, my intentions have already manifested and my life is already my dream life. Is it is it better to try to be in that state or is it better to let go of that intention and just focus on the present and just, you know, go on with your day? So what should I do? Should I let go or should I continue to be in that state? What should I try to do? what would bring uh, earlier results, what would bring better results. So let's try to answer that question in this video and let's get started. So to answer this question, let us first understand your relationship with the creative process because it's about you. The person watching this video, the person with the dreams and intentions, with the drive and the determination that I'll make it happen and the creative process, the creative process with which thoughts become things, the creative process with which what you visualize materialize, with which your intentions manifest. So what is your relationship with the creative process? What, what do you do with the creative process? The first thing that you do is you trigger it, you start it. The second thing that you do is you empower it. You give it more and more power so that that creative process can give you exact results, accurate results, desired results, fast results, right? And the third thing that you do is you don't do anything that would weaken it. So the second step was to empower the creative process. The third step is to just be alert that you don't do anything that takes away any of the power from this creative process, right? So these three things determine your relationship with the creative process. How do you trigger the creative process? Well, you trigger it by having an intention. You, you trigger, you, you start the creative process as soon as the thought comes into your mind that I want this or even better that I already have this because when you know about the law of attraction, that is how you start to think that I already have it. I can afford it. I can already afford it. I, I already have that income. I already have that job. I already have that relationship. Right? So that's how you trigger by having an intention and by having the belief. Second thing, how you empower it, you empower it by doing all of those processes. When you're grateful, you send a vibration of gratitude into the universe. And that is what the universe sends back to you in the form of more things to be grateful for. When you visualize, that's what you're doing. You're empowering your intention under the creative process. So when you visualize that goes into the universe and the universe sends back similar scenes in your physical reality. You visualize in your mental reality, the universe sends back similar scenes in your physical reality. Then there's writing. I've talked quite a lot about writing in my earlier videos. I give writing a lot of emphasis because that's such a powerful process, you know, because when you write, you're sending not just a very powerful signal to the universe, but a very clear, very, very precise signal to the universe. You know, when you visualize, even with me, even now it happens that when I'm visualizing, suddenly my mind goes into some other direction and that visualization is, you know, adulterated with something that I didn't really want to visualize. But then since my mind is wandering, that also becomes part of my visualization. That's not a very big problem. I'm just joking over here. But you know, when you write, you, you have the remote control. I mean, you have the pen, right? So you're writing exactly what you want to write. And that's exactly the signal with a lot of power, a very powerful and a very accurate signal is being sent to the universe. And the universe sends back exactly the same thing to you. So there's writing. 
So all of these processes, and there are several more, many more that I will be talking about in my future videos. All of these processes basically do one thing. They empower your intention with respect to the creative process. Now let's talk about the third step. You shouldn't do anything that weakens your intention in the creative process. So if I'm visualizing, but at the same time, I'm thinking it's not going to happen. It's just too much, man. <laughs> like in the last video, I talked about, uh, you know, I'm maybe earning 2 million rupees in a year and I'm trying to manifest 10 million rupees. Maybe when I'm visualizing, my mind would say, no, no, man, what are you talking about? Suyash, are you crazy? It's not going to happen. You don't deserve it. Five times the income, it's not going to happen, bro. Yeah. So maybe this happens and it's natural. You know, we have been trained maybe right from the moment that we were born to think like that, you know. We live in a sort of a pessimistic society and we have to change it. How do we change it? By changing ourselves, right? So it's okay to think like that. If it's okay to have such tendencies, don't start blaming yourself all of a sudden. Oh, why am I like that? Everybody is like that. I am also like that, right? It's okay. Anyway, let's jump right to our question. What to do throughout the day? Why am I saying throughout the day? Because earlier I've mentioned that it's better to do all the law of attraction processes once in the morning and once in the night. And so you've done all of that in the morning and then you go about your day. You drive to your work or your college or your school or whatever it is that you do with your day. Now, I'm not going to give you one answer to this question. I'm in fact going to give you two answers to this question. You have to decide what kind of person you are because I'll be telling you which answer is for which kind of person. And you have to choose your own answer, what works best for you. So for the next couple of days, just try to observe your thought pattern, your thought process. So when you, you're driving to work, just try to see that what you are thinking about your intentions. For example, let me share what I think about my intentions. When I think about my intentions, I automatically think that automatically, not, not by effort, automatically, spontaneously, the thought that comes to my mind is that it's happening. Either it is that it has already happened. That's how my mind has gotten trained by itself, not even by effort, just by continuing to apply the law of attraction, this has happened. So either my mind automatically thinks that yes, it has happened. Already I'm making 10 million rupees in a year, right? Or the second thing that can happen is it is happening, uh, you know, very realistic view. The first one was the law of attraction view. The second one is a realistic view with immense belief in the law of attraction. So the second one is that it is happening. I have put the seed into the universe. I have put in a lot of belief and a lot of power with that seed. And so it is happening. It is going to germinate into that reality, into that manifestation. So it is definitely happening. Now, if this is your thought process throughout your day, if you have this level of belief and if you don't have it, don't, don't suddenly start cursing yourself because you'll get there. You'll get there sooner than you think. It is just a matter of manifesting five, six things and then you'll be there. You'll, the, the, the notion that the law of attraction doesn't work will start to really seem absurd to you. So you'll get there. If you're already there, just try to remain in that state of belief throughout your day because now belief, because of the applications of law of attraction that has already happened in your life. Because of that, the belief has become your natural state. So that's what you should remain in. So if you are at that stage, then just try to remain in this feeling of belief. It is happening. It has already happened throughout the day. Now, the second kind of person that is there, and it's okay if you're that kind of a person, because I was that kind of a person when I was a beginner. If you are the kind of person that throughout the day is thinking, hey, where is it? Where are my 10 million, man? Where, where, where is my job? I don't see that eye card hanging through my collar. Where, uh, you know, where, where is my loving and caring and beautiful girlfriend or my, uh, you know, or my boyfriend or that relationship or, uh, you know, where, where is all of that? Where is my iPhone 7 plus? And <laughs> where is my Ferrari and BMW? Where are all those these things? So if you are the kind of person that having visualized, having intended, now you are waiting for it and you are constantly thinking about where it is. If you are that kind of person, then please try to let go. Because when you think that where is it, you are basically sending a signal into the universe that it is not here yet. 
And so the universe says, oh, that's what you're thinking. Fine, fine. I'll give you the circumstances that it is not here yet. Right. So if you are constantly searching for proof of manifestation or searching for that manifestation, then the way to go is to let go. Now, how do you let go? You let go by remaining busy. Just keep yourself occupied. Right. Do something or the other. Just remain busy. Get a hobby. Just just do something out of your life all the time. Just remain busy. You know, listen to music watch some interesting movies, go out with friends, uh, focus on your work, meditate. Meditation is absolutely brilliant. You know, when you have nothing else to do, meditate. In fact, when you have a lot to do, take some time out and meditate. So when you, I, I have videos about meditation, go into theta state meditation. Some of my first few videos were not about law of attraction. They were about meditation. So go and check out those videos, right? So just keep yourself occupied. Don't leave yourself to feel miserable about your life. Don't, don't give yourself that kind of an opportunity. Don't give yourself that kind of time. You don't have time to feel miserable. You know, you spend your day either visualizing and feeling grateful and doing something with the creative process for the betterment of your life or you spend your life doing something else that you either enjoy or something that is really productive. Your mind doesn't have, I mean, you don't have time to leave your mind unattended to have out of control thoughts, right? So just let go and you'll see that the power that you have already given to the creative process in the morning and then later in the night, that will culminate together and your intention will come true. And this letting go will be actually very temporary. Uh, not just me, I've seen this with several other people also that I told them to do all of this and then just after manifesting, you know, one or two tiny things and then one or two significant things, they were in a state that, you know, it will work. It will obviously work because I'm applying the law of attraction. So, you know, when you're starting to, when you're learning to drive, you're very cautious, you know, will it, will it accelerate? So when I, when I press the accelerator, will I, will it accelerate slowly? Will it accelerate very rapidly? Will I bump into the car ahead of me? And you're so unsure, you know, that, okay, I'm starting out from this place. Will I even be able to reach my destination or not? <laughs> or at least will I be able to reach there on time or not? Will I be able to reach there safely or not? So when you're just starting out, you have so many doubts and questions. And then you, what you have to do is you just have to like go ahead with it. After a while, you are absolutely sure of it. So after a while, it becomes like that. So this letting go thing will not be always your, you know, your way to do this. Gradually, it will change. Gradually, belief will become your natural state, right? So two things, as I've said, just to summarize, I like to summarize all my videos. If you are in that state where belief is your natural state, then obviously just remain in that. If you are constantly searching that has it happened, why isn't it happening? My God, when will it happen? I can't wait any longer. Well, let go of it. Remain busy. Keep yourself occupied. Don't, don't keep on pondering over what is happening with the creative process let the you know set the creative process free let it let it work for you right in the end i would just like to say something that since i said let go you are now going to try to let go it will sometimes be difficult to let go because what you are trying to manifest is obviously something that you want and uh, it may happen that sometimes it is difficult to just completely ignore for me also it is difficult you know that let's say I want something and I, I dearly want something, I really want something and it has still not manifested in the physical reality, the process is going on but it is not yet there in front of me, sometimes it is difficult to let go. When that happens, don't worry about it, right? You are giving immense power in the morning, you are giving immense power in the night when you are doing all of those things, right? So even if a little, I mean, when I say you are weakening the process, I'm not saying that you are killing the process. You're not doing that. If Even if you weaken it by a little bit, I mean, it will sound very childish, but uh, let's say you're giving 100 units of power in the morning and then 100 units of power in the night. And then throughout the day, you take 25 units away. You're still left with 175 units plus, right? It's not that you're just impeding it to an extent that now, the opposite of your intention will happen. Nothing like that will happen. Don't worry so much about it. Sometimes it will be difficult to let go. It's okay. I have had a lot of difficulty with letting go. Still, my intentions have manifested, you know. Uh, so, it's okay. The universe, I think, is very forgiving. It, it's not very strict that, oh, but this person thought like that. So, now cancelled, not going to happen. Not like that. My In my personal experience, I've made, I mean, all of this that I'm telling you, 
I am telling you the ideal situation. Even if you are able to do 50% of the things that I am telling you, still you will succeed. So don't worry about it, right? So if this video helped you out, hit the like button. Uh, I'm also active on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The links will be in the description. Also use the comment section below if you have any queries or feedback or anything at all. And make sure you subscribe because I'm making videos uh, about the law of attraction very frequently now. Would love to connect with you in a better way. As always, it's been a pleasure to talk to you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.